Good evening viewers and welcome to the best and most entertaining educational program on this side of the Southern Hemisphere. It is the Zimbabwe Schools Quiz Tournament brought to you by the Book of African Records and proudly sponsored by Old Mutual Zimbabwe. My name is Alexio Gwenzi, your host with my co-presenter Nyasha Du. Thank you Alexio. In case you missed last week's episode, here's a quick recap. Last week we had Hartsell High School, Loretta High School, Churchill High School and Kutama High School. This week's episode, we have Ellis Robbins High School, Mutare Boys High School, Sikulile High School, and St. Ignatius. We now cross over to Professor Ngara. Good evening, Zimbabwe. Welcome to the Zimbabwe Schools Quiz Tournament, hosted by the Book of African Records and proudly sponsored by Old Neutral Zimbabwe. My name is Professor Emmanuel Ngara from the Zimbabwe Council for Higher Education, or ZIMCHE. Assisting me are two adjudicators, Mr. Odin Mabika and Mrs. Cecilia Chinembiri, also from ZIMCHE. Tonight, in Heat 22 of the national semifinals, we'll be joined by the following schools. Ellis Robbins, Montare Boys High, Sikulile High, and St. Ignatius College. I now ask the schools to introduce themselves, starting with Ellis Robbins. Good evening, Zimbabwe. My name is Tilek Johnson To my left is Kumbrachin, and to my right is Pete Mabran, and you are from Ellis Robbins. Thank you. Good evening, Zimbabwe. My name is Darlington Kasumba. To my right, we have Sean Tichawana. To my far right, we have Henry Weeper and we are representing Tari Boise. Thank you. Good evening, Zimbabwe. My name is Craig Usani Jube, and on my left is Eric Menendez in Gombo, and on my right is Prince Jube, and we are representing Skuli Life School. Thank you. Good evening, Zimbabwe. I am Tilai Gutiye. To my right is Tanas Shirapa. To my left is Shingai Roku, and we are representing St. Ignatius College. Thank you, schools, for introducing yourselves. We start with spelling. Halima Mutlante was the third post-apartheid president of South Africa. Please write down his name correctly. Halima Mutlante was the third post-apartheid president of South Africa. Please write down his name correctly. Please show your answers. Halima Mutlante, yes, St. Ignatius College. You got it right, yeah? Is it correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, you, you, you got it slightly wrong. Because the H is, um, just before the last letter E. Sorry, you got the letters mixed. So nobody got it correct. It's a Halima Mutante. The next question. The military wing of the African National Congress during the struggle against apartheid was called the Umkondo Oasis Wing. Please write down this name correctly. The military wing of the African National Congress during the struggle against apartheid was called the Umkonto Wesizwe. Please write down this name correctly. Please show your answers. And Ignatius Mkondo um, was this way, and um, was the, the next school to St. Ignatius, Sikulile High. Mkondo um, was this way. Uh, the first school, Ellis Robbins, you have used one word, that's the problem. Uh, it's two words. 
Uh, so we give uh, full marks to St. Ignatius and Sikulile uh, High. Next question. Please write down correctly the name Hamam Susa, a coastal town in Tunisia. Please write down correctly the name Hamam Susa, a coastal town in Tunisia. Please show your answers. Uh, some nearly got it correct, but it's, it ends with an E, double S E. So incorrect to all of us. Next question. Please write down correctly the name Fire Lagoon, the city, the largest city in northern Chad. Please write down correctly the name Faya Legu, the largest city in northern Chad. Please show your answers. Ah, nobody got it correct. Uh, we go to the next segment, which is history and geography. Over 50% of Africa's population comprises persons aged be below 25. Is this true or false? Over 50% of Africa's population comprises of persons who are aged below 25. Is this true or false? Please show your answers. True. True, true. So uh, Ellis Robbins, Mutare Boys, and St. Ignatius, you got it correct. Uh, that is true. We now break for a brief commercial break. Welcome back to the Zimbabwe Schools Quiz Tournament. Next question. The Birchnav Bridge, considered one of Zimbabwe's finest pieces of engineering, appears on which denomination of Zimbabwe's family of out-of-use coins? The Birchnav Bridge, considered to be one of Zimbabwe's finest pieces of engineering, appears on which denomination of Zimbabwe's family of out-of-use coins? Please show your answers. Twenty cents. The the correct answer is twenty cents. So Mutare boys, you got it correct. The next question: Which organization funded the planning and construction of the Birchnav Bridge? 
which organization funded the planning and construction of the Birchnav Bridge. Please show your answers. Yeah, the Bite Trust. So, um, Ellis Robbins and Montario Boys, you got it right. It's the Bite Trust. Next question. The Kariba Dam Wall was built at a point on the Zambezi River known as what? The Kariba Dam Wall was built at a point on the Zambezi River, which is known as what? Please show your answers. I don't see your answer, uh, Sikulile. Oh, you have no answer. So oh, it's the Kariwa, Kariwa trap. So nobody got it right. We go on to science and nature. The first question says, the big five includes elephant, leopard, lion, rhino, and what other animal? The big five includes the elephant, the leopard, the lion, the rhino, and what other animal? <coughs> Please show your answers. The buffalo. Uh, if you say Cape Buffalo, I think you just give them. Yeah. Uh, so uh, the last three schools, Mutare, Boys, Sikulile, High and St. Ignatius, is the buffalo. Next question. The brain of an average adult weighs about as much as the lungs and heart put together. Is this true or false? The brain of an average adult weighs about as much as the lungs and heart put together. True or false? <coughs> Please show your answers. Okay. False, false, true, true. The answer is true. So, uh, who got it right? Ellis Robbins and and Mutare Boys. Yes, you got it correct. Next question. Where are the most bacteria found in the human body? Where are the most bacteria found in the human body? largest number of bacteria, where are they found? Please show your answers. And stomach. Stomach. Ah. The answer is the digestive system. I don't know that we can give one, one mark to stomach. Ah which means um, Mutare Boys and Sikulile, one mark. Next question. Who is Zimbabwe's Minister of Environment, Water and Climate? Who is Zimbabwe's Minister of Environment, 
water and climate. You saw your answers. Okay, we got it right to save your Kasukue. Eh? Right. Thank you for getting that correct. We now break for a brief commercial break. <laughs> Welcome back to the Zimbabwe Schools Quiz Tournament. We go to the next section which is, which is general knowledge. First question. Who was the first female commercial air captain in Zimbabwe? Who was the first female commercial air captain in Zimbabwe? Please show your answers. Uh, school two, that is Mutara boys, you don't have enough. Uh, anyway, nobody got it correct. The answer is Emilia and Giovanna. Next question. Who was the first black cricket player for Zimbabwe? Who was the first black cricket player for Zimbabwe? Please show your answers. Henry Olonga, uh, that is the correct answer. Now, it uh, was Sikulile uh, High, you just said, no, no, uh, that is Mutare Boys High. Uh, your answer is just Olonga. Uh, do you give them two marks? Uh, uh, oh, half a mark. Oh, one mark. One mark. So, um, Ellis Robbins, you get three points, full points, and also Sikulile. And then Mutare Boys, one more. Next question. Which international organization is responsible for coordinating all programs of the United Nations in Zimbabwe? Which international organization is responsible for coordinating all programs of the United Nations in Zimbabwe? Is it UNICEF, UNDP, or UNESCO? UNICEF, UNDP, or UNESCO. Please show your answers. UNDP, we all got it correct. The next question says, a man who forces his wife to have sex with him cannot be charged for rape. Is this true or false? A man who forces his wife to have sex with him cannot be charged for rape, true or false.
please show your answers. False, false, for, for true. Uh, the answer is false. Uh, a man can be charged for rape if uh, they force themselves on their wife. We now break for a brief commercial break. Welcome back to the Zimbabwe Schools Quiz Tournament. We now wish to announce the results of Heat 22, and they are as follows. Ellis Robbins High, 21. Mutare Boys High, 26. Sikulile High, 19. And St. Ignatius College, 15. So congratulations to Mutare Boys High. You are the winners of this heat. Congratulations. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of the Zimbabwe Schools Quiz Tournament hosted by the Book of African Records and proudly sponsored by Old Mutual Zimbabwe. Join us again next week for the 23rd heat of the national semi-finals when we shall be joined by Mwenezi Government High, Sanyati High, Dominican Convent and Mchabezi High. Pleasant viewing and thank you. Wow, what an intriguing episode that was, Alexio. Indeed it was. In fourth place this week, we have St. Ignatius with 15 points. In third place, Sikulile High School with 19 points. In second place, Ellis Robbins with 21 points. And in first place, we had Mutaye Boys High School with 26 points. The challenge continues next week and schools which are taking part are Alice Robbins, Mutare Boys High, Sikulule and St. Ignatius. So make sure not to miss that potentially explosive show. For me, Alexio Gwenzi, my co-presenter, Nyasha Dube, and the entire crew behind the scenes is good night. Mm -hmm.